Hello guys! Good morning! Good morning sa inyong lahat. Now guys, it's exactly 9.01 in the morning. <laughs> Ang sarap ano yung nauna ka sa trabaho. <laughs> Sobrang aga po ngayon. Uh, ganun talaga. Kasi nga kanina, I need to like follow up one client. Kaya hindi ko pwedeng biguin. <laughs> okay. So guys, magandang magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. And welcome guys to Buhay sa Dubai Live. And this morning... While wala pa pong nanonood sa akin, sa akin eh, I would like to share po guys, ano nga ba yung mga tips okay, na maisishare ko po sa mga viewers ko o sa mga magiging viewer ng vlog na ito. If you guys are planning to come here in Dubai, kaya sana eh, makatulong sa inyo ang vlog na ito. Okay? But if you guys has personal questions at nahiya kayong isulat dyan sa comment box below, You can just PM me guys and if I have a time later I will try to reply you back okay Promise to reply you okay for as long na hindi ako sobrang busy okay So asa na ba ako So guys alam ko po na napakarami pong mga kababayan natin ang oh that's why no one is watching me because it's it's private okay Changing it now to public Start na sa Okay, so good morning guys, again. Ayan, kasi saan napapansin ko kanina, sa'yo kung bakit walang nanunood. <laughs> uh, guys, kamusta po? Nasaan po kayo ngayon? Nasa trabaho ba kayo? Nasa bahay ba kayo? Nasa kalsada ba kayo? Or nasa bahay kayo ng iba? <laughs> Mahirap yun na nag nakiki sleep over para ganun. But anyway, um uh, ito guys, before anything else, I would like to share this first in some other pages na meron ako in Facebook para po mapanood din ng mga followers ko doon. Because this is the purpose guys why I'm doing this para po makatulong tayo sa mga kababayan natin. So sabi ko nga ang buhay sa Dubai live or my vlogs is sharing of information not only just coming from me but also to my viewers na my knowledge doon sa topic na pinag-uusapan natin are also welcome para i-share din nila yung information na alam nila. So yun guys, coffee time tayo ngayon habang nire-ready ko to. Mahirap kaya mag one man show kasi walang nagsishare ng video mo, walang naggalalagay ng title and all. Okay, so today guys, let's start with sharing yung mga requirements if you guys wanted to bring your family here in Dubai. So number one, of course, kailangan uh, you should be a qualified sponsor para mag-sponsor dun sa mga kamag-anak mo na papunta dito. Or if you wanted to bring someone from the Philippines going here in UAE. Okay, so... First point po natin this morning na pag-uusapan is, of course, number one guys, dapat po, yung traveler should be an immediate family. So, ibig sabihin po, again, kailangan ka mag-anak mo siya. When you say ka mag-anak, kailangan kapamilya mo as in first degree. Actually, pwede siya up to first cousins, sister-in-law, yung ganun mga apo. Ganyan. Hello to Kathy, Peregrina. Good day din sa iyo. So yun guys, to continue po, um yun nga uh, kailangan po is immediate family natin siya. So kapatid, anak, magulang, asawa, apo, yun or bayaw, po pwede po 'yan. Yan po yung mga qualified to sponsor ng mga mahal nila sa buhay papunta dito sa Dubai. But for again, for friends lang guys, Again, ulitin ko po that if yung friend nyo is qualified as tourist, ibig sabihin may maganda siyang trabaho sa Pilipinas and he can supply or she can uh, produce yung leave certificate or employment certificate, eh po pwede naman po. Because I have some nurses in the Philippines na nag-tour po dito sa Dubai without any affidavit of support. Okay? So, ano pa ba? So, what are the requirements, guys, that you need to prepare? Number one po is, of course, for a traveler, ito yung kailangan niya lang i-prepare. Kailangan lang po namin ng colored 
copy ng passport niya and yung proof of a uh, relationship doon sa sponsor. Okay, and for the sponsor naman, ito yung mga kailangan nyo i-prepare. Of course, you need guys to prepare your colored passport copy, your visa page copy, your OEC or OWA, your um, salary certificate, and of course, your proof of relationship doon sa traveler na pupunta dito. Okay? Uh, there are some things kasi na hindi na iintindihan masyado ng ng mga kababayan natin to no na is eh, wala naman ako kamag-anak diyan kaya I think I cannot travel in Dubai. That's not true guys. Ulitin ko po for as long as you are qualified as a tourist, of course you can travel. So if you wanted to inquire about that guys, don't be shy to send a message to me or you can call me from the Philippines. <laughs> no 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 no. Uh, okay lang yun. WhatsApp is okay. Uh, I will just write down later guys yung all details that you need in the description or in the comment box below para po sa information na yan. Okay, so ito guys, uh, even until now, napakarami pa rin pong kababayan natin that are really interested na pumunta po dito sa Dubai. So, actually, I have one vlog which I didn't upload yet online kasi nga, uh, this is subject for approval pa ng Philippine Information Agency where I asked some of my friends dito sa UAE to share yung buhay nila why they like Dubai and how long they've been here sa UAE so nakakatawa na parang that vlog actually is patunay na still even up to now Filipinos would still love to come here and work okay uh Ako naman kasi personal comment ko doon is that if you actually guys here in Dubai, parang you've been to different countries na. <laughs> kasi diba halos lahat yata ng nationality nandito. Ayun. So, may mga inaayos pa ako. Actually, I'm waiting for my colleague. Bakit wala pa rin siya? Alright, so one more tip guys that I would like to share sa mga kababayan po natin na gusto magpadala ng mga kamag-anak nila dito is kailangan guys, proper briefing. That's very important. Kasi I understand po the feeling of a first-time traveler. Kasi diba, um, first time mong mag sumakay sa aeroplano, first time mong mapunta sa ibang bansa, of course you are scared. Kaya napakadaming tanong and maraming bagay na hindi siya aware Kaya po, it's very important that you have to give time to talk to your family member na pupunta o magta-travel for the first time. Mas okay po that yung spoon feed mo talaga sa yung process. ba From the airport, saan siya una pupunta, magbabayad ba siya muna ng travel tax, tapos magbabayad muna siya ng terminal fee, papasok siya sa immigration, and then pupunta sila sa departure area, then sasakay ng aeroplano, pagdating dito, what else ay yung mga gagawin nila? So, uh, kailangan ba nilang kumunek sa wifi? Or, kailangan, how can you contact them if nandito na sila or not? Kasi dito naman sa Dubai Airport, eh, meron naman, naman po mga wifi. How you will guys uh, know kung dumating na ba sila or not? Diba? Importante po yun kasi we have to let them feel now we are guiding them all the way from Manila going to UAE. Kasi ako po, yung first time experience ko rin flying here in UAE, syempre natatakot ako, what if, pagdating, di ba magkaroon ng problema sa mga immigrations na dadaanan ko, let's say from Philippines or from Dubai, hindi ko alam anong gagawin ko. Kasi syempre, ibang bansa to, and expect guys, kung hindi ka naka-roaming at wala kang load, tatakot ka. <laughs> Sino yung kukutakin mo? Ano mangyayari sa'yo? So, may mga ganong may mga ganong issues kasi yung mga first time travelers. So, ako naman, of course, I've been flying na. Kung baga, sumasakay naman ako sa aeroplano sa Pilipinas some, for some domestic flights. Pero yung, alam mo, ibang bansa na ipupuntahan mo, nandyan kasi talaga yung takot eh. Kaya nga po, it is also good guys that you can also recommend to your family members na mga first time travelers to watch videos in YouTube of, let's say, vloggers na nakatravel na sa country na yan. Kasi, di ba, parang at least they will get a little information 
of the country of their destination. Di ba makikita nila itsura ng airport, makikita nila itsura ng lobby area doon. Maybe they will get some information na hindi ko na si share or information na hindi mo alam. Yung tipong ganun. Kasi minsan, if you have a chance na makapanood, di ba like for example for my vloggers, na napapanood nila yung mga videos ko, asali pagdating nila dito, they know what to do. Yun yung kagandahan doon. Paglabas nila ng airport, alam nila ang itsura ng <laughs> labas ng airport. If they go around Dubai, automatic, they have this little recognition of the place. So yun yung kagandahan guys, why I am recommending you to encourage your loved ones who are traveling here in Dubai to let them watch my videos or if you know anyone na nandito na UAE vlogger na gumagawa of course ng mga videos or vlog, ayun, pabasa nyo po sa kanila yan. Kasi if you are knowledgeable kasi of the country na pupuntahan mo, medyo confident ka na you will not get lost. If you will get lost man, hindi ka matatakot because alam niya kung saan siya pupunta, alam niya kung anong gagawin niya. Kaya that's very important. Okay, so before we continue talking here, hello Kai, uh, Mar Litawa, and good points Kuya. Hello Mar, ayun, uh, I know that you shared yung video na ginawa ko na kasama ka doon, but pinatanggal kasi sa akin. So, from Facebook to YouTube, I have to delete it because of the restriction na request sa akin ng Philippine Information Agency. But then again, thank you so much, Mar, for the time. Grabe, ang ganda ng resolution ng video mo. Nakakainis ka. <laughs> okay. Pero alam ko, now I understand kung bakit mahirap sa'yo yung, yung editing and all is because of the, the what do you call this, the file. Di ba? Masyado siyang mabigat. Ayan, but ako guys, I highly recommend to all of my vlogger friends that if your phone is okay din naman yung kuha niya, <laughs> still, you know, uh, gamitin nyo pa rin yung phone nyo, I highly recommend that. Kasi, tawag nito, mabilis eh. Oo. Pero if you are like doing very special project na vlog, then why not, di ba? Yun. And uh, sabi naman ni Chelsea, see you again soon, kuya. Sorry, what do you mean? You're going back to Dubai? Hello kay Josephine Maturan na nanunood sa atin and nag-share ng video. And of course, sa lahat na nagla-like dyan. Okay. Um, asan na ako? Ayun, so yun nga guys, we're, we're talking about yung mga vlogs. Okay, and vlog. Vlogs and vlogs na pwede nyo pong i-recommend sa mga kapamilya nyo na magta-travel papunta dito. Okay, and again guys, another tip na I would like to request, or na I would like to suggest to everyone, that if you guys are planning to bring your family here in UAE, or if they are like traveling to anywhere, um, as much as possible guys, try to get a flight na kung po pwedeng straight flight. Kasi syempre, lalo na if he's traveling alone or if she is traveling alone. Kasi po, imagine first timer na traveler yan, dadaan muna ng ganito and he will stay there for like 10 hours. What? Ano gagawin niya doon? Wala siyang kausap na unless kung kilala mo na talagang hindi siya mahiyain and he could get a friend easily. Medyo okay lang. but kung alam mo medyo tahimik siya na medyo iba yung personality niya? I highly recommend guys to get a flight for your loved ones na ano na street flight sa dapat. Okay? What happened? Mm. Wait lang guys ha. Alright, so yun po, that's another tip na nasi-share ko sa inyo for those who would like to bring here in UAE or if you wanted guys to bring your family abroad. Okay, so please, the eight, the, the more na mas maiksi yung travel time niya, mas okay. Alright, and also guys, guide them when in terms of luggage. Kasi minsan hindi na pag-uusapan yung gaano kadami ang dala. 
And please naman, especially for a first timer, avoid nyo naman yung tipong ang dami nyong gustong ipadala sa kanya. Eh, baka mamaya, di ba, gaano kalaki yung bag na available para sa kanya. Ang daming, ang daming niyang bibit-bitin. Eh, alam mo yun, iwasan naman po natin yung ganon. Try to at least ask for something na hindi naman masyadong malaki. Baka naman kasi ang request mo, sabi mo, oh, pinsan, ganyan dahil masarap ang bigas sa Dubai, sa Pilipinas, dala ka naman ng limang sakong bigas dyan para mag-enjoy kayo dito. <laughs> limang sako, imagine kung gaano. Ako nang bahala sa, ano, sa, sa charges. <laughs> so, parang that, that's strong, di ba? So, hindi po pwede ganon. Okay, sabi po ni... Okay, ah, uh, I'm sorry. Okay lang yun, kuya. Napanood ko naman na... Okay, sabi ni Cathy, thanks sir for all the tips. Hope to see you soon. Yeah, see you soon. Of course, sabi naman ni Efren Salvan. Kuya, explain mo yung unlimited contract, unlimited contract. Okay. Alright guys, uh, the difference of these contracts are... Yung ano po, correct me guys if I'm wrong ha, especially to our viewers who are more knowledgeable with this. Kasi ano, alam ko this is a most common questions talaga eh. Kasi there are some followers in the Philippines na nakakuha sila ng limited and unlimited contract. Ate, uh, good morning. Are you aware of limited and unlimited contract? Ano yung difference? Mm, okay, that's correct. So guys, ito no, uh, the difference of two is that yung unlimited contract, ano no, yung limited contract is, ang alam ko po is that your contract is limited lang. Ibig sabihin kapag two years lang, two years lang talaga. Okay? Ibig sabihin kapag nag, na, tapos na yung kontrata mo, And if you wanted to continue or if your company wanted to continue your service, they have to renew it like a new contract again. But for the unlimited contract is that, kumbaga, yes, there's a parang two years pa rin siya as minimum required kasi yun ng, ng UAE law ng labor. Pero if you wanted to continue and your company still would like to have your services, parang tuloy-tuloy lang siya. Kasi I remember... When I was working in Hagen Das, eh, I'm not renewing anything. Parang tuloy-tuloy lang ako. Tapos kung mga naputol ko. Pero I think the rule is, uh, you you need to at least finish the two years contract. Kung mga two years uh, tenure sa company para wala kang labor ban. O kasi ganun sa amin eh. Parang, parang ibig sabihin na parang considered na finished contract ka din. Kumbaga hindi ka nag-bridge of contract na hindi mo natapos yung kontrata mo. So that's what I understand. Okay? Pero if you are, what is the difference of these two types of contract if you're going to resign? ba diba? So, I believe na yun nga yung difference no na kapag limited contract ka, if you resign, kahit least ay nakadalawang kontrata ka na sa kanila, and then you resign, ganun pa rin. Kung baga magkakaroon ka ng labor ban. Because limited ka lang. Two years. Pagkatapos nun, they have to get another con new contract para sa'yo. And you resign suddenly, let's say six months or after one month. Ibig sabihin, still, subject ka for labor ban. Unlike sa unlimited contract, that if you like, finish the first two years, tapos tumuloy-tuloy ka, kahit naka six months ka lang, eh wala kang labor ban if you wanted to resign. That's what I know, okay? Yun kasi alam ko, kasi alam ko that my contract in my previous company is unlimited. Okay, so guys, again, I'm open to all of your corrections or something, but that's what I know. Okay, and... Alright, uh, Kuya Juni, sabi ni... Hello, Lawrence! Hi, Bunso! Ang aking pinakagwapong kapatid dito sa Dubai. And sabi naman ni Chelsea, gaano po dyan kalamig ngayon? Ilang layers po ang jacket ng kailangang isuot. Ayun, yung buong maleta mo, isuot mo lahat para you are protected. <laughs> Dead job lang. Ah, kahapon, it's really super cold. Ayun, kasi ba diba, if you see guys sa mga sa online na nagkaroon talaga ng snow, as in makapal na snow sa Russell Kaima, sa Alain, I don't know, Fujera, 
hindi ko nakita. Pero grabe, as in talagang iba yung snow. As in, akala mo talaga nasa Europe ka. Para ka nasa Armenia. Pero sa Dubai, wala namang snow. But then, kahapon ng umaga, halos magkasakit ako. Kasi 8.30 a.m. nagta-travel na ako going to the sport fest ng, ng Pinoy group. Grabe siyang lamig. Ayun, until gabi. Di ba, umulan, na-stranded yung metro station, yung metro, yung mga train. Kasi gawa ng lakas ng hangin. But as of today, medyo okay-okay na siya. But then you can still feel na yung hangin talaga malamig. Okay, and... Sabi naman ni Chia, I think yung limited is the same as yung sa labor. Na bawal ang resign unless you finish the contract or else you'll get a ban. Pwedeng 3 or 2 years. Unlimited is 2 years or more and renewable. I guess. Okay, good morning, Nicole Tanho. John Besa, kuya, bakit sa atin walang snow? Oo nga. Alam mo, I think we have to complain na kay President Duterte na bakit walang snow. <laughs> bakit nga ba walang snow sa Pilipinas? Hindi ko rin alam. Oo. Well, para ba explanation yan? Malapit kasi tayo sa ano eh, sa Ecuador eh. Hindi, mainit kasi dito sa Dubai, diba? I think that's not the answer. I don't know guys. Sorry, I don't know about the, the answer about that question. Okay? And sabi naman ni Guadeline ay to na go. I-turn mo naman ako dyan. Okay, don't worry guys. Soon ha, we are just finalizing everything about tours na ino-offer po ng MPQ. Ayun, so if everything is settled and fix na yung program, yung lahat-lahat, I'll be the one, guys, helping your family for their tour here in Dubai. So, this is not only just for Filipinos, but this is open for all nationalities. So, makikita nyo ako soon, like nasa, nasa iba't ibang mga tourist spots dito sa UAE. Okay? I'm, kuya, I mean, dito po sa Dubai, walang snow sa atin. Ah, okay, sorry, sorry. O nga, bakit walang snow dito? Hindi ko rin alam. <laughs> Same answer. Nasa Middle East tayo ng Ecuador. Oo nga, Ryan. That's actually correct. Pero I don't know bakit sa Pilipinas, hindi naman tayo sobrang nasa Ecuador. Bakit walang snow? Ayun, I think that's the design of God that we need to travel the world. okay For us to discover kung gaano pa kaganda talaga yung mundo na create niya para sa atin. Di ba? That's the best answer. <laughs> <laughs> pang beauty queen na sagot din no? okay uh, anyway guys um, it's 9.24 in the morning I'm so sorry hindi ako pwedeng magtagal but anyway sabi po ni Rodel hello sir gusto ko po sana pumunta dyan kaya lang may opportunity ba for multimedia more on video production daghang salamat uh, Rodel you can check out www.dubizel.com for you to get an idea if yung mga ganyang klaseng position or job is in demand sa ngayon. Pero alam ko kasi sa media, I have some friends who are working sa mga ganitong klaseng work. Yun nga lang, I, I don't know kung gaano kataas yung demand as of now. Oo. Okay, and good luck. And I wish na nandito ka nga para maggawa tayo ng mga video collaboration. Good morning from Kuwait. Sabi ni Sam Di Castro. And, hoy Pablo, bakit ka nanonood? <laughs> May wifi na pala dyan sa, sa, sa work mo. Okay, anyway guys, so as of now, yun lang po muna ang uh, live streaming natin this morning. Kaya, if ever man po na mayroon ako nakalimutan, ano ba? Ayun, I think one last tip, okay, para sa mga kababayan natin na gusto magpadala ng mga kapamilya nila dito sa Dubai. Guys, you have to mention yung mga expenses dito, no? Of course, dito ka nakatira, and you know exactly kung ano yung mga bayarin. So it is better guys that you also discuss that to them. Para naman hindi maging magmukhang tayo yung masama. Na dito kaya parang ang dami yatang kinuhang pera sa akin. <laughs> yung tipong ganun. So it is always better guys that you talk about sa pera ng black and white. Okay? Kasi para hindi naman masira yung intention natin na gusto natin tumulong. But then at the end tayo pa yung mapupulaan o masisiraan because of sa pera lang. Okay? So good morning again sa'yo Pablo. And of course sa lahat ng mga katrabaho mo dyan sa hindi ko alam ang pangalan ng company mo but good morning guys and 
watch out soon guys no i will do a podcast okay with two of the most uh in demand filipino host na magpartner yung dalawang yan si DJ John Luna of uh, John Luna DJ John Luna and DJ Charlene of Pinas Music so on abangan niyo po yan Uh, magsusot kami this coming Friday Malalaman niyo po ang buhay ng mga nag-host dito sa Dubai How they can adjust on On, uh, what do you this? On their work versus itong mga sideline Or plus may radio program, internet program pa sila Plus they have their own life Paano nila nagagawa yun? And how uh, surprising and interesting yung buhay nila Kaya yun lang guys, again, thank you so much for watching Buhay sa Dubai Live At abangan niyo po guys ang radio program ko soon Kaya thank you so much, Kuruti Radio, for the chance. And guys, have for any visa assistance, I'm here, guys. I will help you. Bye!